untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to my first video in the new standard featuring Phyrexia All Will Be One. A big thank you to Wizards for letting me preview the new cards in the Early Access event in this fully unlocked account. Today we're taking a look at Green White Poison featuring a ton of new cards from the set, as well as the new mechanic with Toxic, which is a way for creatures to apply poison counters to the opponent, and it only takes 10 poison counters to win the game. The Rot Priest, an all-star in this deck, 1 mana 1-2 with Toxic 1, saying whenever a creature we control becomes the target of a spell, target opponent gets a poison counter. So this works both if we target our own creature with a spell, as well as if the opponent tries to maybe kill one of our creatures with a spot removal spell, they will also get a poison counter. So to make use of the Rod Priest, we also have four copies of Homestead Courage in this build, which is a cheap way for us to target our creatures twice, so especially with multiple copies of Rod Priest out, this can quickly add up and maybe help poison the opponent even on a stalled board. And then Homestead Courage also synergizes very nicely with a Bloated Contaminator, 3 mana, 4-4 four, four with Trample and Toxic 1, and whenever the Contaminator deals combat damage to a player, we get to Proliferate, meaning we can choose any counters on the battlefield and add an additional counter, so that works with plus 1 counters, the new Oil counters which aren't featured in this deck but appear in the new set, and then also works with Poison counters on the opponent, so the Contaminator is another all-star in this deck. Then at 1 mana we get to play with a Legendary Defector Might, a 1-1 one, one with Toxic 1, and like all other Mites, it cannot block, can also pay 2 life or white mana, tap it, choose a color, and then another target creature we control gains Toxic 1 and Hexproof from that color until end of turn, and it also cannot be blocked by creatures of that color this turn. So the Defector Might is great at protecting our valuable creatures, but can also help push some damage through on a stalled board if the opponent only has creatures of one color especially. Then four copies of the Crawling Chorus, a 1-1 with Toxic 1, and when it dies it leaves behind a Might, which is another 1-1 with Toxic 1 that cannot block. At two mana we also have the full set of Jawbone, a Duelist, 1-1 with Double Strike and Toxic 1, so it also synergizes very nicely with Homestead Courage, adding additional counters to it, and it could also maybe be pumped by a Slaughter Singer, which is a 2-2 with Toxic 2, so this one applies two poison counters if it damages the opponent, and whenever another creature we control with Toxic attacks, it gets plus one plus one, until end of turn, so the singer itself doesn't have to be attacking to apply the bonus, so we can often play it and immediately pump our entire team, since our entire team has toxic, so that's great. And then a three copies of Skrelf's Hive could even go up to a fourth copy, an enchantment saying at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life and create a 1-1 might token. And then as long as the opponent has three or more poison counters, creatures we control with Toxic also have lifelink, so all of a sudden our entire team gets lifelink, which is another nice upside. And then four copies of Annex Sentry as our main removal effect in the deck, a 1-4 with Toxic 1. When it enters, we can exile target artifact or creature an opponent controls with mana value three or less until the Entry, it leaves the battlefield. And then topping off our curve, two copies of Ajani Sleeper Agent, which can be a great source of card advantage with the plus one. The minus three can distribute three plus one plus one counters on the team. It's also great with a duelist especially. And then the minus six can also tie in nicely, saying whenever we cast a creature or planeswalker spell, target opponent it gets two poison counters. And then the mana base also has a few goodies, including Razor Verge Thicket, the new fast land in green-white, great for any aggressive deck like this one. And then four copies of the Seed Core can make one mana of any color to cast Phyrexian creature spells, and as you'll see, all the creatures in this deck are Phyrexian, so that's very helpful. But more importantly, if we have Corrupted enabled, meaning if the opponent has three or more poison counters, we can give a 1-1 one, one creature plus 2 plus 1 until end of turn at instant speed, no less. So awesome with a duelist, but can also pump Chorus, the Defector Might, and all the 1-1s one we generate from a Skrelv's Hive. And then of course some other dual lands for fixing, couple basics, mainly planes to help cast and flashback courage in the same turn, and then Iganjo and Boseju offer additional interaction. So that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw with a decent hand, double Rot Priest, can uh, probably start with one of them, and then we'll see next turn if we want to play Singer, maybe double one drop or get the Hive going, so we've got quite a few options. Put on blue black. And a drown in Icker takes out Rock Priest, but will still inflict one poison at least. Nothing for the opponent to proliferate. Okay. So Hive versus probably double one drop would be the most powerful. 
think the sooner we get Hive going, the better. And our opponent might have some counter spells, in which case resolving the enchantment is valuable. The Mirex indicates some poison synergies from our opponent as well. And we've seen proliferate already. So that could be a win condition for them. Augury, another proliferate card. Okay. So a Rot Priest plus Singer. Or we can play a Might and then still keep a Buseju for what it's worth. Definitely start with a Rot Priest. And then I think we just play the Singer. And this way if they want to take out the Singer, at least a Rot Priest will trigger again, inflicting an extra poison. And hope there's no board wipe in our future. The hybrid, 2-1, flying, toxic 1, can come back from the graveyard if the opponent proliferates. Okay, the seed core, we can't quite activate, but we're getting close. So I could just attack with a might token, trade it off for the hybrid to maybe let the singer attack next turn. They might proliferate in the meantime, but it's still an investment to replay. So that seems fine. And then we'll uh, keep the rest back for now. So these two can attack since they'll get buffed by the Singer. And we might see a trade for the token. But it's still an investment for the opponent to replay the hybrid. Opponent takes it. So that's two more poison and now the Seed Core is online. Can channel Boseju as well. Okay, Inquiry Dominus. That happens. So 3 5 flyer. And they get to proliferate twice now. Flyer attacks to inflict the first poison damage. So the opponent can also start proliferating their poison. Okay, let's take our turn. I don't think we need to besage you with a Mirex here necessarily. Ooh, and an Ajani. Could be great. So our opponent's on three poison. Can use Ajani to distribute some counters perhaps. And then can still use the Mirex before pumping. And then just attack with all. That seems reasonable. So we could play Janium Plus, or we could distribute some counters here, and it's a close call. Plusing for more creatures to help go wide is useful, means they'll have to attack a Janny next turn. The plus one counters don't really matter if we're trying to poison the opponent to death, since a 3-5 still blocks pretty well here. So let's plus. Find another Rot Priest which we could play. And uh... Yeah, I guess that works. Pay two life. Give this the protection from blue. And then uh, attack with all. And then I'll likely play another Rock Priest here. Bonus up to eight poison. Okay, so our opponent's got their work cut out for them, but double proliferate could do some damage here. Whisper triggers Rock Priest. Opponent up to 9 poison, takes out our defector. Go up to 3 poison here, thanks to Inquiry Dominus. Curiosity, draw 2 for 1 mana. Pretty good. But they'll need to deal with all our creatures here to survive, or inflict seven more poison. Alright, GG's. Looks like we might get there, and a Drown and Icker will trigger Rod Priest for the win. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and our hand's pretty decent. Not quite perfect, as we don't get to play Rod Priest on turn one, but I'll definitely keep it. Can play Hive on 2. 
Although now with the Razor Verge, we actually get to curve out perfectly. Rot Priest into Hive, maybe turn 3, a Jani. And then Homestead Courage, great with a Rot Priest as well. I think I still get to Hive and play first. Do we need to worry about any instant speed blockers? Opponent could be a tokens deck, but I think I still attack with a Rot Priest. That worked. Play Hive. And then next turn, Courage represents two more poison counters at least. Aha, opponent with a wedding announcement, so indeed a tokens deck. Ooh, Contaminator has to be the play now. Also great with Homestead Courage, as we can proliferate. Opponent already chumping the Rock Priest. So yeah, off to a great start. Let's see what the opponent can come up with. Mondrak, so immediately gets to double the token from announcements. That's very powerful. Okay, so we have some great options. Can play Singer and cast Courage twice. Could also keep up Iganjo to maybe channel. So let's say we Courage on Contaminator to make it larger. Could do it twice. Probably don't have any great attacks elsewhere. But uh, let's say we start with a Homestead Courage on Contaminator. And then just attack with Contaminator. And see how they block. And then we could still play Ayajani or channel Iganjo if necessary. Opponent chumps, but we trample, so that doesn't really matter. Get to proliferate the plus one counter and the poison counter now. And uh, do we want to trigger announcement? Not really. So. Yeah, those seem fine. And then play a Jani. Could be decent, although it's going to be under pressure from Mondrak, potentially. Or I could play Singer. I think a Jani's fine. And then we'll just start plussing. Now I could have proliferated the loyalty on a Jani, of course, but then our opponent would have been more likely to block. Okay, find the Defector might. that's great too. And we still have a 6-6 on defense to hold off the Glory Dominus. Ooh, Illish Norn. Luckily don't have a ton of ETB effects. So let's see. Defector might could be a way to give protection from white, essentially, to let the Contaminator through. So that's gonna be pretty important. Can still attack, maybe channel Iganja to take out Elish Norn, and if I play Defector Might first, we get a small discount. And then a Jani probably wants to keep plussing, as opposed to minus three and die. So we'll start there. Find another Rot Priest. Okay, now with double Rot Priest, Courage also gets much better. So. Yeah, it's tempting to play another Rot Priest and then flashback Courage, although then I'll be shields down on Igancho. Do we care about killing Illish Norn is a question. Maybe we do. Right now we're kind of all in on this protection plan with a Defector. We could just play out Igancho and then basically empty out our hands to try and go wide. Although going wide against the Tokens deck is going to be challenging. I can play Singer, or I can play Duelist, and then next turn play Singer to pump the team. And then Homestead Courage, probably on the Duelist is the best value. So that's two more poison. And then no attacks for now. But we're setting up to go white. And yeah, with Defector Mites activating next turn on the Duelist. Ooh, nice. And Awaken the Woods, making a bunch of uh, Dryads. So now the Pro White is not going to be enough. Although another Homestead Courage should be pretty effective here. In fact, it's just going to end the game for us, thanks to Double Rot Priest. So that's two more poison. And that's two more poison. There we go. Awesome. All according to plan. On to the next one.
Okay, we're on the play, and our hand seems keepable. Could use a third land. But uh, Duelist, great with uh, Singer as well. Could even try and turn three Ajani. But Duelist down. Alright, Contaminator now seems excellent. That also dies. So, double two drop versus Jani, I think double two drop. Keep up the pressure, and then try and leverage our board advantage. Soren, at least we can exile the token now with Sentry. But our opponent's just gonna plus. Reveals Frex in Arena. So Jani still dies to Invoke Despair, which her opponent could easily have. Yeah, I think we take out Sorin, and then we can uh, play Jani and start plussing. As opposed to just putting counters on Duelists. Could put three counters on it. Plus one goes up to five power double strike. So we're pretty close to just killing the opponent. Maybe that's just better. And then we can clear a path with Sentry next turn. Yeah, you know what? Let's... Uh, just go with the aggressive line. You're all part of the great machine that is Ignore Sorin. Opponents at three. And then now Invoke Despair is not much of a problem. Sorin makes a vampire, which we can answer. And the march kills Duelist, gaining some life back. All right, that's a setback. So plus a Jani. Find another Singer. So probably now have to take out Sorin thanks to the second Singer. Well, that's close because we could apply two more poison as well. But taking out a Planeswalker seems better. And I'll play out the Seed Core. Okay, pretty far ahead on board, but against Mono Black, you never know. Cut down Answer Singer. Opponent could be playing with a new Fraxian Obliterator for all we know. Keep plussing a Jani. And Hive seems worth keeping, even though it's an enchantment that can be answered by Invoke Despair. It is pretty good in general against Mono Black. And then we can attack, play a Rot Priest. Opponent up to 7 poison, down to 2 life. And a Corrupt to gain a bunch of life back, although poison damage is still going to get them. Opponent at 8 poison, and uh, might as well take a look at our next card here. Every day and attack. And that'll do it. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and our hand seems decent. Even though we have two Defector Mites, they're still likely to get answered. And then now Homestead Courage to go with Rot Priest is excellent. So, do we want a Rot Priest first or Defector Mite first? Feeling like a Rot Priest first makes sense. In case they have removal, at least they'll get punished for it. Opponent on Esper, so it could be a quite controlling build. Okay, so play Defector Might, and then we could already Homestead Courage once. Opponent up to two poison. And I go for the throat, inflicts one more. Okay, attack for one, play Contaminator. And hope to draw a bit more action. Augury to proliferate and draw. And then I should probably spread out the wealth a little bit. 
So we can seed core first on the factor might. Could also keep it back to protect the contaminator, but I think I'm attacking with it. And then Homestead Courage on the Might itself. To encourage them to take out the Might. Since we have another one. And then by giving the Defector Might Vigilance with Homestead Courage, we can still activate its ability to maybe protect Contaminator. And we're also spreading out the wealth a little bit since we have another Might anyway. Okay, the Prologue to apply Poison draw card. And then now, do we attack with both? Do we keep Mites back to protect Contaminator? Those are interesting questions. But if I attack with both and they don't have removal, we would just win the game by proliferating. Opponent could also have some board wipes in their deck. So close call. Maybe just Contaminator attacks, keep Might back as protection, play Chorus. Although Chorus is good insurance against the Sweeper. Yeah, let's just uh, protect the Contaminator, give our opponent some credits. Damage happens. Proliferate to 9 poison and then play Chorus. Edict in response. So at this point, could just let go of the Might and play another one. And then if there is a board wipe, hopefully it's not followed by another spot removal spell to finish off the Might token which could cross the finish line here. All right, GG's, looks like we got there. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and our hand seems decent, although could be prone to flooding. Opponent with turn one adaptive. Jenny's nice. Missing a two drop. Another Adaptive, and an Officer to grow them both, so green-white aggro. So Sentry's gonna be quite good. And we picked up a 2-drop, excellent. Gonna have to play defense, I think, with a Chorus. Hope the opponent doesn't have their own Contaminator. Adaptive is a Warrior, so not quite a Soldier to go with the uh, Officer. And I could offer the trade for Adaptive at this stage, before it gets out of hand. Thalia makes our Ajani more expensive, although I'm just gonna play Contaminator here. Adeline, that's a good one. Grows Adaptive. But they shouldn't have any great attacks. And then Sentry can exile Adlin. Play a Rot Priest as well. No attacks. So we're gonna get to a bit of a board stall, which is where we can leverage our Planeswalker. At least that's the plan. Brutal Cathar goes for Sentry, no doubt. So it grows the Adaptive once Adlin comes back. And that gets to attack. Just gonna block the 1-1, one, one, take 4. And I think we just uh, set up the chain reaction again. Sentry for Cathar, get back Sentry. And do we at this stage get rid of the adaptive to at least reset it? Or do we still go for Adlin? Could be safer to just get rid of the adaptive, honestly. And then just accept a trade for Adlin if her opponent offers. Could also attack with Contaminator right now, although they could trade for the two ones, which I don't think I like. Beast Caller grows Adlin and Officer. Opponent hangs back. Okay. 
time for a full price Ajani, I think. And then we can maybe distribute some counters before we start plussing. We will make this world. Or do we just start plussing? I think I prefer the counters first. And then... Where do we put them? Maybe one on each sentry and then one on contaminator. Or two on contaminator, one on sentry. I think I'll go one each on contaminator, rot priest and sentry, and then not to one with a cathar underneath it. And uh, no attacks. But now we should have a better board to protect the Jani as well. Ouch, that's what we wanted to avoid. So that's going to set off the chain reaction again. And gets rid of Contaminator. That's very bad. And Rot Priest does not trigger off abilities, otherwise our opponent would have been poisoned in the meantime. Would have been worse had we not exiled the Adaptive, I guess. Opponent reconsiders. They're just going to send in everyone, or just the small stuff. Would love to untap with a Jani. Alright, opponent's just going face. And then sends all the small creatures at a Jani to guarantee killing it. That makes sense. And then the token's gonna go after a Jani as well. Okay. So I probably have to chump Adlin to make sure we don't die. And then we can kill either a Thalia or maybe just double officers so they don't have a mana sink left. Don't care about Thalia too much. Homestead Courage is not bad. So now I regret not killing Thalia a little bit. So how large can we make Sentry? Probably not large enough. 3-6. Can flash it back one more time to attack past Adelin. Or I can play Hive, which is probably gonna kill me. So now at least Hive will give our team lifelink. Back up Thalia just to grow a Beast Caller. So they had a backup anyway. And an all-out attack. Might just do it here. So let's say we chump Adlin. Block Beast Caller. I'm still taking 8. And that's the most damage we can prevent. Right, GG's. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand seems promising. Chorus into Singer into Contaminator. Try and keep up the pressure. And then the Seed Core can eventually pump Chorus or the 1-1 one, one Might token as well. Opponent blue white. Okay, so singer and then attack. And that will pump chorus. Unless a fading hope bounces singer first. Fair enough. So now the question is do we play contaminator or do we double spell? And I think contaminator still has higher upside. Opponent's some sort of equipment deck. So we'll attack. And then uh, play Contaminator. And now especially with the land next turn we can play Rot Priest plus a second Contaminator. And then Singer can immediately pump the team. So the Batter Fist, one of the four Meriden equipments, comes attached to a 2-2, giving it plus one, minus one. Sadly, destroy evil, perfect answer to a Contaminator. Okay, Homestead Courage to go with Rot Priest is great. So I think the plan is still to double spell here, and then next turn we can Homestead Courage. And at least now removal will inflict the poison. 
The research desk can be a source of card advantage. And then now the seed course online, so we can pump our 1 1 course. I see Mondrak to double the tokens. And there's another contaminator. I could homestead courage twice and play singer. And then the question is where to put the plus one counters, as Singer is also going to give the team plus one plus one. Could also pump with the Seed Core and just Homestead Courage once. So if I play Singer, I can Homestead Courage twice on the Rot Priest itself, so that can also attack. As a four-powered creature, Contaminator would grow up to 5-5. Five, five. So they would have to double block to not let us proliferate, which I guess I'll take that trade. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Could also just play Contaminator and then wait another turn on deploying Homestead Courage. Or just Homestead Courage once on the Contaminator, but then they can double block. So we'll play it slow. And then no attacks this turn. Unless we want to just trade for Mondrak, which is reasonable too. Sure. Just trade my 3-drop for the 4-drop. Alright, opponent took it. Up to four poison. No plus one counters to proliferate this turn. But next turn we can go crazy with two large contaminators, perhaps. Research desk activates. Finding another Mondrak in a lane's not the best. And a fable. Serpone so can potentially make Mondrak indestructible if. They sacrifice two other artifacts and our creatures, and that's where the Batter Fist makes sense as an artifact to maybe sacrifice to it. Double Singer could be an option, but I'm kind of liking double uh, Homestead Courage plus Singer instead. And then just attack with the Tramplers, I think. What if I attack with everyone? They have good blocks on the smaller creatures. So I don't think that's necessarily worth it. So their opponents at 7 poison. So we just need to push a few more points. So do we attack with everyone here? We would get plus 1 plus 1 from Singer. So yeah, maybe that's not such a bad idea. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Our hand is sadly missing green mana for Rot Priest. So I don't think we can keep this as much as I want to keep Hive into Sentry. Also don't have Homestead Courage to really synergize with Rot Priest to its full potential. Okay, this will have to do. And then maybe get rid of one Hive and then we get to curve Rot Priest into Hive. Have Contaminator to proliferate the plus one counters as well from Homestead Courage. And now we don't mind drawing a third land. Okay. Attack for one. Play Hive. And we're off to a promising start. Put on blue-black. And Venser. 1-3 lifelink. That has great synergy with proliferate. Okay. So I could Homestead Courage twice on Rock Priest to let it attack past Venser. I think I'm better off just playing Contaminator for now. And then next turn we can maybe grow it and proliferate at the same time. Although our opponent could have the new Drown in Icker to kill Contaminator and proliferate. At least we'll still inflict a poison. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we've got our work cut out for us. Poseidon can potentially deal with the token that Venser generates to get that out of the way. Although it'll quickly be able to generate another one. So, Seed Core can pump the 1 1 token up to a 3 2. And then I could still Homestead Courage twice. Don't really care about the token gaining a lifelink if our plan is to poison the opponents. But uh, yeah, this is tough. Maybe just pump the token, just attack with the token. Maybe we channel Boseju on the token, anyways. Channeling Bosage and giving the opponent an extra land also seems kind of rough. So, 
Yeah, I think Homestead Courage to get up to three poison. And then we can use the Seed Core pumping the other token here. And I guess we can use that at instant speed. I'm not gonna put the Rot Priest in harm's way just yet. Opponent may not see the interaction here. Another option was to pump Rot Priest and then use Besage if they double block it, which might have been worth it. It's Cold Dweller, 1-1 one, one Death Touch with Toxic. And then now end of turn I might use Besage on the 3-3. Three, three. Might fix their mana for double blue, but at least we're in the end step, so it's not as relevant if they want to cast a creature with it, for instance. Our team also has lifelink, thanks to Hive, and Rot Priest was a great draw. So play another Rot Priest and then Flashback Courage for two poison counters, and then we can still use the Seed Core. So we might see removal on the first Rot Priest in response. Serum Snare to bounce it. Still inflicts a poison. And yeah, probably fine to just play Rot Priest and Homestead Courage. And then where to put the counter. Opponent might have the minus one, minus one effect and where shields down on the seat core. Could also wait until next turn to use it. Yeah, I'll just target a Rot Priest. Two more poison. Bring the ending to counter it, that's fine, we still get the triggers. And these attack. So yeah, the Seed Core catching the opponent off guard here. And can be activated as an instance, so that's very relevant. Opponent up to 8 poison, so yeah, removal will still get them killed, so they would need a sweeper in this spot, and next turn we just attack with the team for the win. Alright, so good to see our green-white poison deck in action, and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Definitely got a few kills with Homestead Courage alongside Rot Priest, which is one of the advantages of this build over other poison builds, that you can still win on a stalled board if you maybe don't have any great attacks. The Defector Might was also very impressive, and I was glad with the Jani as an extra source of card advantage at the top of our curve. So definitely a build that could still maybe improve over time, but pretty happy with how it started out. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.